Good afternoon and evening, everyone. Terraqua Tour today. I'm feeling significantly better. You can tell my throat and voice is doing much, much better. I'm pretty sure it'll tighten up and get a little bit sore after this because talking excessively still wears it out faster than I would like, and I am out of throat coat tea, so them's the breaks. Anyway, today is Saturday, May 11th, 2024, and it is day 132. Stars. Still sober, still still doing very, very well on that, by the way. I have zero intention to, to do any drinking. We do have wine here for Lilia. Might use that in some beef, if I could, for like, say, like a a spaghetti or something, but no, no. We're supposed to be doing barbecue uh, pork chops tonight. Started raining. It was supposed to rain tomorrow because the original, original plan was to do the uh, barbecue tomorrow for Mother's Day. Can't do it now because it's raining tomorrow. It's, we have thunderstorms all day tomorrow. And so I was like, okay, fine, I'll just do it today. And I rushed out, got some turnips and everything to have something good tonight. It started raining. So right now we're in the process of figuring out if it's going to stop in time for me to do that. So I have to just keep an eye on the forecast. <sighs> yeah, just keeping an eye on the forecast at this point. But uh, if you saw Tessa talking about it yesterday or uh, yesterday evening, we did we did actually manage to just barely get the Aurora over an area. We were at the very southern end of how far the Aurora would reach from the solar storm. So I did get a few pictures. I posted them up on Discord. I'll probably post a few more on uh, on X. For those who follow, me, follow us on X, you can look at them there. But there, here are a few examples right here. It was... A little bit of work to get it. I couldn't just go out there and take a photo because, unfortunately, our city still has too much light pollution. You know, for this being a suburban place with only 100,000 people, we sure produce a lot of light pollution. For a, for just a small town, that's a lot of light pollution. So, I had to do it with 30-second exposures. There was no alteration to color, nothing added. All it is is a 30-second exposure on my face camera my on my phone really so 30 second exposure and it really did go to show just how much um i don't want to say havoc because i didn't lose we didn't lose any power here and as far as i can tell we didn't lose internet or gps so we did we, we got lucky there but um it does go to show just how powerful the storm was on bombarding Earth's magnetosphere, because all of that was just charged particles entering the atmosphere and weaknesses of the uh, magnetosphere, all all that kind of stuff. So that was just an ionic storm, to be to be fair. But yeah, it was it was quite beautiful in the photos I managed to take, because again, there was so much light pollution you could barely tell it was there. But it's amazing what just 30 seconds on, on a camera exposure will produce. Or the ISO wasn't too high. I think I had the ISO at like 50 to 100. So not too high, not too low. And it still, it still produced some, uh, some, what in the world? Some pretty good results. It's, I do dare say I'm rather proud of myself on that one and that I actually managed to get to witness that because I can tell you in my lifetime I don't think I'm ever going to be in the polar regions. I don't think my, in my lifetime I'll ever be going there. So seeing that to me is like a once in a, my lifetime experience. I know others may go somewhere like far enough north in Alaska or anywhere else like along Europe and Russia and be able to see that in any time but for me, no, because I really don't feel like traveling through Canada. Canada's too dangerous for me. Uh, that's a whole different story. I'm not going to go over that. But I have to keep this one brief. I mean, at the time of recording, it's 4.58 p.m. So we're coming up on 5 o'clock, and I'm hoping the rains die down because by 6 or 7 o'clock p.m., I would like to be grilling. I very, very much need to go out there, and I need to 
season some spices to make a chocolate curry barbecue sauce for the pork because the last time I had that barbecue sauce, I learned it was really, really good on ribs, which were pork ribs. So I'm going to try it on bone-in bo- uh, pork loin chops because um, the uh, discount grocer or the the butcher by us, uh, are, okay, the grocery store right by us has a a butcher in there so they they cut their own meats there and it was less than a dollar i think it was a dollar seven just around a dollar seven a pound for their pork so it was a really good deal so i got like eight pounds of it so portion that out make some pork chops some turnips because we do we do like turnips the store was out of beets though we wanted to have grilled beets if you haven't had grilled beets, you're missing out. But they were out. For some reason over here, over at, over at the grocery store by us, people love their beets. I, I don't blame them, though. I mean, you do you cook them up just right. They're actually phenomenally delicious. I highly suggest if you ever do mesquite or hickory charcoal or wood fire for grilling and smoking, get it hot enough, get some... S- Fresh beets, slice them up, get the, the skins off of them, and just throw them on the grill. You will be very satisfied with its flavor. Maybe a little olive oil and some rosemary later, but honestly, it doesn't even really need that. Maybe some oil before you throw it on the grill, but oh my goodness, it is really, really good. You've got to try grilled beets. <sighs> just thinking about it, it's making my mouth water. And then again, I'm also thirsty. I've been hydrating as much as I can to keep the uh, throat pain at bay. That's the main thing that's been holding it back is just constantly hydrating and eating things. I know it's a weird thing because when your throat's sore, you want to avoid eating and avoid drinking things. But what I learned with this one is that eating and drinking before it starts getting bad actually makes it better. So I just kept drinking and drinking and drinking water, of course, water and tea. Mostly water, but yeah, I, I did that. It was it was easy enough. I'm just really glad that I'm able to get in here and say hello to everyone because it's been a while. The test has been at this covering for me for what a week and a half now, at least. So we, I do need to give a big, huge thank you to Tessa. That 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 voice mod work that she manages for uh, that that goes a really long way. <laughs> So I'm, I'm very thankful she was able to do that because I definitely, I don't think you want to have me come on here and be like, Hey guys, I'm here. You want to hear me talk? It sucks. You don't want to hear that. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, because of the Aurora we had last night, that's why Tessa picked her world and I picked this one for right here because uh, once again, th- this place is actually quite beautiful quite beautiful very very simple world i might i might save it because you know me i love my outer space i love outer space i know sometime i need to do another kind of video covering uh astrophysics news stuff from like you know news from nasa or even uh the european observatories i should cover some news like that sometime because it's fun Anyway, I can't really keep this any further because I have a lot I need to do. I was going to mow the back lawn today and then it rained. Hopefully it didn't rain too much because, oh my goodness, it needs to be done. Got the front lawn done, which is awesome, but the back lawn is the one that needs work too. You got to love when you have very inconsistent weather patterns or not exactly i would not exactly inconsistent but as soon as you think it's going to dry up it rains again (sighs) i'm gonna have to find a solution to that sometime oh boy excuse me you know what yeah i'm i'm definitely feeling my throat start i you see me constantly doing this my throat is starting to get scratchy again i said excessive talking was gonna make it kind of hurt and get really dry and scratchy well i added that it just now but i'm Mm. definitely feeling that right now it's uh it's unpleasant anyway this is terra quator i hope everyone enjoys their saturday go hug your mothers tomorrow if you can and if you have a good relation with your mother i certainly hope many people do i understand that there are some people who watch who do not and for those people i completely understand but if you have a good relation with your mother 
tomorrow. Go hug your mothers. Wish them happy Mother's Day tomorrow. And you'll see and you will see Tessa tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.